Hey everybody, this is Lauriston Crockett, your master trainer and biomechanics specialist. Hi, this is Garrett Atzweiler. I'm the athletic director here. Guys, you've seen me do videos in the past, and I've created something called the Fountain of Youth Effect. And you have to say, does it really exist? Well, Garrett's going to be here with me today talking about that he's actually applied it to his life. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can do for that. Um, one of the main things is, of course, consistent exercise. Um, but, of course, hydration, sleep, and those kind of things apply. A sensible um, diet. You don't have to go crazy, but a sensible diet. So these are the four things that basically create that. But what we have to talk about is that Gary and I have had many discussions is it leads back to the lock and key mechanism in something called a peptide, which is a short chain amino acids. And Gary, as we talked before, how many cells make up the average human being? It's a lot. It's 37.2 trillion. 37.2 trillion cells make up the average human being. So that's pretty important. These are the communicators that speak cell to cell and actually create this. Now, people seem to think that when you get, what was it, 29, we are talking about that a few mm -hmm. minutes ago, that a lot of people think it's over, life's gone, I'm gaining weight, because what's going down? Your testosterone. Yeah, hormonal problems are starting to happen in men and women. Yep. And women have this clock that they're worried about, which leads back to hormonal issues again. Well, all this leads back to peptides, naturally occurring growth factors. So you've been actually working with peptides now for a couple of months. What's been mm -hmm. going on with you with the Fountain of Youth Effect? Yeah, so one of the biggest things that I enjoy from it is uh, recovery. Right. Um, the recovery point of it is, you know, I train a lot. I've been training for a long time, but, and I was also a, a D1 uh, college football player. So right. the the whole thing behind that is you got some bumps and bruises. You've got, you know, some torn ligaments there. Right. Uh, the recovery is very, very important. So you can continue training, continue uh, hitting your goals, and just getting better and better. So I love the, the That is the most important part for me. Well, recovery just in life also. You don't have to be a D1, a, a top tier athlete also. I'm a 62-year-old athlete and I'm still living the life. I'm in the gym at night doing 1,100 reps just for fun, where a lot of people are having a hard time just getting out of the chair. You're still in the game and so your recovery is very important to you also. Yes, yeah, so and that's, you know, that's one of the biggest things of, you know, anytime you're, you're gaining strength, you're gaining lean muscle, so of course you, as you gain more muscle, your mobility starts to go, so that you 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 know have more um, you're you're more open for injury. So the the peptides you can train hard one day and then you can literally just get back on it the next day and you don't have to take you know you're not taking you know 48 hours every time to recover. Right. And so what you don't understand is that you say what's well, my hormonal issues? Well, it's really not the hormones that are that's really the key to this. The key to it is is that we're depleting our peptides on the cellular level. It's peptides that signal hormonal production, like growth hormone is a peptide. Endorphins are what? A peptide. So all these different things that we have are the peptides signaling the hormonal production. Now hormones are so important because it speaks on the cellular level and also tells organs what to do. And the organs also can transmit and create other hormones. So again, it comes and it leads back to us supplementing our body with a natural peptide, and that's where the hexatide peptide in genostem actually takes place that has naturally occurring growth factors. Now, you know, your growth factors are so important also because they actually signal the body what to do. Those are major communicators. To live, okay, the fountain of youth effect, you must take the peptides. So when you started taking it, what happened with you real quick because we're almost out of time? And yeah, so uh, the, the biggest thing is, like I said, the recovery right off the bat, right. more energy. Um, you know, it's like your, your body, you know, I was, I was burning fat throughout my, uh, my workouts better. Just my metabolism felt, felt a lot faster uh, doing a lot, you know, and then staying, you know, hydrated and everything. But, yeah, just the, the recovery part of it. And then I take the uh, peptide, um, the host defense peptide, which was a big one for me. Right. Um, I just felt... Um, you know, that it fights off harmful bacteria in your body, uh, viruses, things like that. And um, Well, let's talk about that for a minute also. So HDPs, which are a part of the hexatide peptide, actually have the ability, and do your own homework, um, to disrupt enveloped 
viruses. It can destroy viruses, fungi, and bacteria. Yep. So that's a viral shield that we can put on. And again, it leads back to peptides. That's why peptides are so important. So we've got a lot more videos coming your way where Garrett's actually going to be instructing on how to lift weights and yep. different routines. It's not about just picking up heavy weights. What I've always taught, he agrees with me also, is that lighter weight, more reps, better results. Mm -hmm. We're going to create a better athlete. You're going to get the results that you want, and you're going to start living that fountain of youth effect. So, again, it's Lorison and Garrett. Hey, buddy, thanks so much. Yes, sir. We've got more videos coming your way. We love you guys, and we're going to see you soon.